Roma. What's going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are doing great whether this video is reaching you in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. I hope you're having a great one regardless. My name is Berno Plays. Welcome if this is your first time coming on in. Welcome in. How you doing? I'm an Irish content creator. Heavily Pokemon content, but I do some Nintendo games as well for multiplayer games and things of that nature. But what's going on? Welcome in. Hope you are doing great. I want to say thank you. Before we go any further, I want to say thank you to everyone who watched the previous tier, li tier list video that went up on the channel last week. At this moment of recording, it's got just under 400 views, which is a lot more than I suspected. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching that. I will leave a link to that video at... Uh, in the description below of this video if you want to go check that one out as well. It was a longer video. It was all 151 Gen 1 Pokemon. I'm a Gen 1-er, so yeah, it was a little bit longer. I got excited, and I enjoyed it immensely. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Without further ado, what are we doing today? Something very close to my heart. Something close to every Pokemon fan's uh, close to heart, I imagine. It is the starter Pokemon. The first Pokemon you receive in your journey, depending on what game and what generation you're playing, of course. We have all the starter, fully evolved starters here in a tier list. Our tiers go from top star tears to A, B, and C. I don't think we need anything lower. I think we won't be going near D. I think all these Pokemon I really like, there's one or two that might drop into Bs and Cs. But I don't think, realistically, any of these Pokemon are bad, per se. But yes, guys, I'm ranking these out of three different categories. Category number one is how I personally feel about the Pokemon, how it makes me feel, my experience with the Pokemon using in playthroughs, and Nuzlocks, Sleep Locks, and all that jazz. Uh, then, how I feel about the Pokemon competitively. I'm not a master competitive Pokemon player, but how I feel about it competitively. And then number three is the general design of the Pokemon. How I feel about the Pokemon, its lore, its name, does it suit it, the design suit it, what was it trying to achieve, did it do that? So that is how I'm ranking these three uh, all these Pokemon on those three categories, but all that will be in a little bit of info in the description. Without further ado, <laughs> slapping hands, let's take names. All right, guys, I like the way uh, the tier maker literally just bundled these up. They're going from fire to grass. Oh no, it's completely mixed up. Yeah, I like that a lot because I was going to mix them up myself. So it's completely mixed. We're not starting with Gen 1 going forward, it is completely mixed. We're starting with Embor. I have used an Embor in a, in a Black playthrough before and future games as well. I like Embor. I think it's a bit weird. It's a bit goofy. Um, I think it has a great move pool though. Is it a top starter? Hell no. I'm going to reserve the top starters for only potentially a few Pokemon. You have to be a very, very good Pokemon to get into top starters. I, it's definitely not a C. I think we're floating between A and B. It has a great move set. Competitively, it's not terrible. Uh, it's a little bit slow. It's a big giant fire pig, uh, so we don't expect it to be that fast. I might drop it into A, just on the base of the move sets. I think competitively, it's it's not bad. It learned loads of really cool moves. Uh, of course, being a fire fighting type, it does gain access to fire and fighting. But I know it gets crafty things like grass knot and other things like that. So, ooh, I think it's the elemental punches as well. A or B. Jeez, that's a tough one to start the bat. I'm going to drop into B. Uh, I do give myself uh, the odd V-show at the end. I might be able to rejigger some Pokemon. I think I'm going to leave Embor in B for now. I think that's fair. Now, next, we got Feraligator, Gen 2 Water Guy. Guys, honestly, this is a giant crocodile. It's so cool. Feraligator. Was it my first starter in Gen 2? No, I think Chikorita is my first starter in Gen 2. But I do like Feraligator a lot. Very terrifying. When it gets Ice Punch as well, it's really, really nice. I think it learns about level up as well. Uh, its design is amazing. I personally love this Pokemon as well. I cannot see it dropping into B. I think that would be disrespectful. I'm going to drop Feraligator into A. It's not a top starter. But I do like Freligator a lot. So I think A is deserved. I think we're going to see a lot of A's. I can only really think of one C. Guys, maybe make a comment in the comment section down below. What C do you think I'm going to do? Uh, here we are. F Infernape. My god. Fantastic Pokemon all around the bat. Great design. I love it personally. It's a fire monkey. It gets Iron Fist as its ability is really nice. Blaze is good as well, but Iron Fist is usually better. Gets all the elemental punches as far as I know. Maybe not Ice Punch. But it is a fantastic Pokemon. Well-designed Pokemon. I think A... Is that fair for Infernape? It could be a top starter. Hmm. Could that sneak in? I do like Infernape a lot, to be honest. Um... Again, another firefighting. We're going to see a few of them. <laughs> There's a couple of firefighting types out here. Will I put it into top starter? Hmm. I think a lot of you dudes would. 
understand if I put on top starter. Uh, it, it's, it does exactly what it says in the tin. It is a very fast sweeper. It could be a physical or a special hitter. With the ability Iron Fist, I imagine you'll go towards spe uh, physical sweeper. Um, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to leave him there. Top starter. First top starter. I'm happy with that, actually. I think that's about right. I like Infinite more than I like for Alligator. So I think, you know what? Sneaking him higher is better. We got Septa! I love screaming Septa. Anytime I see a Septa, you have to just go, Septa! I love his cry in the anime. Great Pokemon. Gen 3 is a personal favorite of mine. I'm a, I'm a Gen 1 or no doubt, but I do love Gen 3. Will Septa go into top starters? Mm, to be honest, it's so frail that competitively always makes me super duper nervous. I don't think it hits as hard as Infernape uh, in terms of competitiveness. I do like this Pokemon a lot. I do rate it a little bit lower than I do Infernape, but I think A is correct for last time. Septa! Love Septa. Type Flosion! Look at this mine! For the long- Oh, I don't know why the picture cut off its head. Uh, for the longest time, I didn't really know. This is a rash. It's a fire rash. That's amazing. <laughs> but uh, yes, I do like Type Flosion a lot. It got a new form uh, in Legends Arceus, although this is just- We're talking about the base starter. Oh yeah, this doesn't have Legends Arceus starters. It's all good. I do like Typhlosion. I think putting it in B would be disrespectful. I think I'm going to slap it into A. Um, I like its typing. I like f just pure fire typing. It's pretty decent. It's not too too good at one thing. It could be a physical or a special hitter. It can also be quite bulky as well. I like it. I like Typhlosion. I think it deserves to be an A. We're going to see a lot of A's. Okay, here we go. We got Incineroar. Another fire. Star. Is this the third one in a row? No, we had Septa in the middle. Incineroar. I love Incineroar. I think it has to be an A tier Pokemon. Even could have been a top starter, but I'm going to slap it as A. Uh, I think its concept is pretty cool. I like the fact it's a big giant cat. It's a big angry cat. Uh, great move pool. Good, decent uh, typing in Fire Dark. Of course, VGC, a fan favorite because of Intimidate. I think it's a great Pokemon. I would find it a little bit weird that it relies on its belt a lot uh, for using fire type moves and stuff. I always find that a bit weird, but uh, that's in the anime. I do like it. I think its design is really cool. I think it's a very different Pokemon. It, it's probably one of the only starters that you can consider evil, you know? Uh, because of that dark typing, perhaps, as well. I don't know. But, like, it's it's a very different... It's it's not your traditional cute starter. It's a terrifying starter. So, I'm happy to slap them into A. We got Cinderace. Could this be another A? We're going to have a lot of A-type Pokemon, dudes. Cinderace, I think it's going to be A as well. I do like Cinderace a lot. I... Uh, it was the, the fire starter that I chose. My first playthrough of Sword and Shield. I do believe out of the three, it's, in my opinion, the coolest. Is it the best competitively? I don't know. I don't agree with that. I think maybe Rillaboom could be better competitively. But uh, with a couple of egg moves slapped on to Cinderace, it's a really good Pokemon. I love its concept. I'm a big soccer fan. Or if my country say football. And uh, I think it's a cool Pokemon. Um, no, it's not B. It's A tier. A tier Pokemon. Here we go. I told you guys I'm a Gen 1-er. I don't think I need to discuss this much. Venusaur is a top boy. Venusaur is a top starter, no doubt. One of the best starters competitively out of all the ones, and it's from Gen 1. Great move set. Great ability and chlorophyll as well. His hidden ability. Overgrow is okay as well. Uh, is it chlorophyll? Yes, it is chlorophyll. Boost, uh, boost speed in the, in the sun. Great design. Great Pokemon. Just... Great overall. Giant frog with a plant on its back. It's amazing. And again, being a Gen 1 Pokemon, I couldn't resist. Venusaur is a top starter for me, no doubt. Torterra! Now, I'm going to be straight up with you dudes. I didn't really lose to like Torterra. I didn't like the fact that it had a four times weakness in ice. Uh, I didn't like it competitively. I thought it was quite beefy. But it used to let me down a lot in playthroughs. I personally didn't like it very much. But I did very recently a uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl playthrough with my good friend, Major League uh, Gaiman. Uh, shout out to Major League Gaiman. Uh, we are actually doing a current series live at the moment. Happens every Friday. Keep your eyes peeled for that, guys. Uh, normally, I would put Torterra in the B tier. But after using it throughout that series, it is exactly what it says in the tin. It's a big, bulky, hard-hitting Pokemon. And you just don't put it in scenarios that it doesn't do well. It's an A tier Pokemon. I would have put that in B in a different mindset at a different time, but I think it's, it is a, an A tier Pokemon, Torterra. Uh, yeah, not top starter, but it is, it is an A tier. Chestnut, C tier. 
Chestnut's just not a good Pokemon. Uh, it's just not. I don't really know much I can talk about this Pokemon. I've only ever used it once in a playthrough. And I was in absolute fear the whole time. He has so many weaknesses. Can I name them all off? Four times to flying. Fire. Psychic. Uh, Skibu Pops. Poison? Poison's neutral, I believe. Bug? I think Bug is neutral. But there's just so many weaknesses. Having a four times weakness as well in a starter is scary. I know I'm contradicting myself, so I just put Torterra in A. I personally just do not like Chestnut. Uh, it scares me. I think its design is goofy. I just don't like this Pokemon at all. And my very short experience with it was not positive. So I'm going to leave that in the C tier. Yeah. We got Decidueye, one of the coolest Pokemon ever created, in my opinion, let alone starter. Look at this man. It's a ghost owl. So cool. I love its gimmick and spirit shackle. It's an absolute monster in Pokemon Unite. There's no other Pokemon like it. I really like Decidueye. I think, honestly, it, it has to be an A-tier Pokemon. I don't think it can be a top starter. Uh, I do like Decidueye a lot. I've only used it once in a playthrough. I'm a Gen 1-er. I've played the older Gens millions of times. With the later gens, Gen 6, Gen 7, I've only played a few times. Gen 8, because it was on the Switch, I played a lot. But, yeah. Decidueye, I love it a lot. My experience was fantastic with it. I cannot see why it should be B tier. No, it should be A tier. Now we have Bayleaf, guys. Again, I love Bayleaf. I really do. I get why people crap on Bayleaf. I really do. It's a support Pokemon that arguably doesn't get many supporting good moves. Yes, I know it gets access to the classics. Reflect, Light Screen, Leech Seed. I think it gets Sleep Powder and all the powders as well. Does it not get Sleep Powder? I can't remember. I know it gets Poison Powder. But I honestly just cannot competitively... It drops it down to B tier. I'm trying to be fair. I'm trying to be strong towards a couple of Pokemon. I don't think it's an A tier Pokemon. I like Bayleaf a lot. I've used them many times on playthroughs. I personally think it's a good Pokemon. I cannot justify putting an A. I think it's a, it's a B tier Pokemon. Enough said about Blastoise. It's an A tier Pokemon. Look at this man. This man's got cannons on his back. It is the only starter that technically has a gun. Jesus, I maybe have to beep that word out just in case. But yes, Blastoise, a great Pokemon. A giant turtle that shoots hydro pumps from its cannons on its back. Its mega is pretty cool. We're not talking about the megas necessarily. Decent move pool. Decent abilities. Very good move pool, actually. I take that back now. Uh, very good. It can be a support mon. It can be a sweeper. Uh, I think it's a great Pokemon. Shell Smash is terrifying. Shell Smash, White, Herb combo is absolutely terrifying. So, yeah. I'm going to drop it into Top Strider. Now, we got the Ninja. Greninja... I think we're going to have another A tier Pokemon. And I might sound disappointed, but I'm not. Um, I just think it doesn't justify B. I think it's an A tier Pokemon. Uh, again, my experience with Greninja is a very good Protein, or Protein, depending how you want to pronounce it. Awesome ability that changes your typing to the move that you're using. Uh, so it can be really tricky to build around. It can be real tricky to battle. I do like it a lot. Fantastic in the anime. I didn't watch much of that gen anime. I think it was the Kalos region, I remember. Excuse me, fighting a burp. But uh, yeah, I didn't watch much of the anime, but what I seen of the anime, it was awesome. Of course, that mystery bond between him and Ash was pretty key. Uh, I do like Greninja. I like its moveset. I do like its typing and water dark. I do like its ability. You know what? No, I can't do it. It is an A-tier Pokemon. I nearly sneaked him into top tier. I can't do it. Now we've got Inteleon, dudes. Inteleon, I like its gimmick. I do. It is James Bond, but a Pokemon. That's cool. Um, it's just very frail, and it always made me super duper nervous. I know when sweepers tend to be sweepers, they tend to be a bit more frail. I just think it scares the crap out of me, and I don't have much love for this Pokemon. I have used it in a Sword Shield playthrough. I do like it. I like its uh, is a super look ability. Increases the chance of critical hit ratio, and then you slap on something like a scope lens onto it. It hits pretty much everything for critical hit target critical hit uh, damage i do like it but i think it'd be wrong to put it as an a tier pokemon i think it's a b or tier pokemon uh we got blaze kid i love blaze again the first original firefighter type that later on just became just the norm <laughs> nearly for a short time uh, i do like blaze a lot comparing it between the other hoenn regions in swampert and uh septile i think blaze again We'll have to go A tier. Uh, I don't think it can go to B tier. I like its ability and speed boost as well. Hidden ability and speed boost. 
gets access to really good moves, gets cheeky little things like bounce and things like that can be really useful. I like Blaziken a lot. Uh, it's a bit thicker as well. I like that. It can be a sweeper because of speed boost. It nearly makes it a sweeper. Uh, and I also got sword stance as well. There's some crafty tactics you can do with Blaziken. I like it. It's not a top tier Pokemon, but I like it a lot. Uh, Superior, I believe is how you pronounce it. Um, I, I have used one of these in a playthrough. I think the two previous Evos are just not very good, but we're not talking about them. We're talking about the final stage Evo. I think it'd be wrong to drop it into A tier. I just don't have too much conditional love for this Pokemon. I haven't used it an awful lot, which is probably unfair on the Pokemon then, but I think I gotta drop B tier. I think Superior's ability in Contry is amazing. Uh, Contry is if your ability, if your stats go down, they actually go up. So if you get maybe like a coil, well, coil goes up. Never mind. <laughs> I'm confusing myself, but the, the traditional strat is Leaf Storm. Contrary, which actually increase your special attack by two, not decrease. It's a good gimmick Pokemon. I like it. I have used it in Showdown. Have not used it much in Nuzlocke's. Um, and I don't have much love for it. So it's going to be B. Here is Rillaboom. Um, I've been on a, I've been on the receiving end of some Rillabooms. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm for that. I've got a little bit of anger towards it. Whenever I see a Rillaboom or a Cinderace in a Sword and Shield battle, it makes me super duper nervous. Um... <laughs> It's Grassy Glide. Grassy Terrain ability, when it comes out onto the field, it spews out some Grassy Terrain. And Grassy Glide, always priority in Grassy Terrain. Competitively, is fantastic. Move Pool is very, very good. It gets access to Boom Burst and things like that, although it is a, usually a physical hitter. I think we would be wrong. Go B tier. It's an A tier Pokemon. I like it a lot. Okay, we're on to Swampert. One of my personal favorite starters for multiple reasons. Really good move pool, really good design, really good shiny as well. We're not talking about shinies, but it's coming into my brain. Uh, but one of the main things the Swampert has going for it that I love, I love the water ground typing. I love only having the one weakness in uh, grass, and then later on, freeze dry through that all into the sky. So, yes, it is terrifying then. But I love Swampert. I just, it's my favorite of the Hoenn trio. It has to go into... Uh, top tier Pokemon, top starters. I love Swampert so much. We got Samurosh. I have seen recently that Samurai has does not receive the love it should get. Uh, I think it's a great Pokemon. I don't really see anything wrong with it. Um, I do like the fact that its its head is kind of a sword. Would I prefer it if the swords were in its hands? No. I think I think the fact that it's on its head is pretty cool. So it's a what is it? It's a Walrus? Is it a walrus? Yeah, it's a walrus with a sword in its head. It's awesome. Um, Aqua Jet is pretty nice. It gets... You know what? I'm kind of trying to make myself drop it into B, but that would be disrespectful. It's an A-tier Pokemon. I like it a lot. Uh, I think it would be disrespectful to drop to B. But speaking of Bs... Ooh, Del Fox. I just don't have much love for it. I've only used it once in a playthrough, and I just didn't like it. I didn't feel it hit hard enough. I didn't feel it was tanky enough. It, I, I just didn't like it. I just personally didn't like I like its design. It's not a C-tier Pokemon. We potentially will only have one C-tier Pokemon. I just didn't like it. Del Fox. Maybe you can change my mind. Maybe when you come into Pokemon Unite, you change my mind. Maybe in the future, if I use you more in Showdown or in Nuzlocke runs, that might change my mind. But I just cannot put into the A-tier. I just don't think that'd be fair. On the other air tier Pokemon, I love them more. Empoleon. I think we might have another B-tier. My personal experience of Empoleon is not great. Uh, I just don't think it hits that hard. I I don't think its move pool is very good. I like its 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 uh its typing and water steel is very good, very good defensive, and water is one of the best offensive typing as well. Steel is can be a bit of both. Uh, I think it's good. I think it's move pool lets it down a little bit, but you guys might tell me wrong in the comment section down below what you normally roll on your Empoleons. Let me know. I'm going to go off my personal experience. I think the Pokemon is designed well. I think its stats are not fantastic. And I think its move pool is terrible. So I'm going to drop it into B, but that might be actually one that I drop up higher at the end. Now we have Primarina. I'm going to be honest, I've never used this Primarina in a playthrough, in a Nuzlocke playthrough. I have used it in Pokemon Showdown. One-on-one uh, -on -one battles, custom battles, as well as randos. I like Primarina. It's really thick, really bulky, has really good... It can be a support or attack mon. 
yes, it is a fairy typing as well, which is arguably the best typing in the game. Water fairy is maybe the best combo in the game. Is it an A tier Pokemon? Maybe because, I'm, again, I'm going off that love. I'm going off that love for the Pokemon as well. I just don't have that much love for this Pokemon. And it's only because I haven't used it that much. Uh, I think it's an awesome Pokemon. I think it'd be disrespectful to put an A. It's a B tier Pokemon. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that one, to be honest, saying that out loud. And then, dudes, honestly, shoot me if you want. Hate me if you want. Charizard is a top tier Pokemon. It's a top star Pokemon. Competitively, not fantastic, perhaps. Uh, I do think it, it is decent competitively. Decent move pool. One of the best move pools out of all the starter. It can learn a whole range of moves. Uh, it is decent typing and fire flying. Four times a week to rock is scary. Um... Decent hidden power and solar power, hidden ability and solar power. I love Charizard. I said this in the Gen 1 video where I ranked all the Gen 1 Pokemon. I understand the love that Charizard receives, but I do understand the hate that Charizard receives as well. But I do think people just think it's fashionable to hate Charizard. I, I don't really see what's wrong with Charizard. I love the man. He's a Gen 1 dude. I love him. He is a top starter, top tier Pokemon in my opinion. All right, so guys, looking at the clock, 21 minutes, 50 seconds, not too bad, a lot shorter than the last one. I'm going to give myself 30 seconds, so I want to jump a Pokemon up or down. Chestnut deserves BC, it's just not a good Pokemon. Does something go down? No. Nothing should go down, should something go up? No, should something go up from A? Do we have a sneaky A that goes up? If one of these Pokemon were to go up, it would probably, because I'm an old man, probably between Typhlosion and Feraligator. But you know what? I don't think so. I don't think anything needs to change here. I'm very happy with that. Guys, I always do these off the cuff. I never prepare them. Uh, I just give you my honest and honest opinion off the bat. But guys, that is my tier list. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video to this link that you can again create your own tier list. You can drop it into our Discord. I want to see your results as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section down below what ones did you think you agreed with with me, which ones you didn't, uh, and then yes, what ones would you put in your top starters? Why not there? Let me know what is your favorite starter Pokemon. My favorite starter is Swampert. Uh, I just love that grass. Uh, I hate the grass. I love that ground. Uh, ground water typing. The man hates grass though. But guys, thank you guys so much. Also, let me know in the comment section down below what other tier video would you like me to do. Something a little bit different. Maybe held items. Maybe legendaries. Let me know in the description. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I would appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next tier video or in the next stream. Guys, thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching.